There's more analysis. We can speak now to Jan Cedric Hansen, Doctor and Vice President of the Global Health Security Alliance. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Uh, are we right to be worried about Chinese passengers once again travelling freely around the world? Well, I would, wouldn't put that qu the question this way. Uh, are we worried that uh, other vectors and carriers of the disease are going to um, travel around the world? But they are actually, because we have we are all traveling almost freely all over the world. One key thing is that uh, in the previous waves, uh, what happened in China and Western uh, Pacific was previous or, or preceded what was happening in Europe and in the Americas later on. Uh, what is uh, actually uh, observed is that the peaks are actually synchronous now. So, so when you have a peak, in Western Pacific, you actually have the same peak in Europe. So the, the, the difference is so minor that what is happening over there is already happening within our own uh, area right now. And this is due to the fact that people are traveling all over the world almost freely. So I'm not sure we should concern because we are protected by our vaccines. We are protected by measures, barriers. And so we should increase those. But, um, to be concerned about people traveling. It is of utmost importance that the economy is still uh, working properly right now. I think that's the, uh, the priority. But can we actually believe the Chinese statistics? Because when you look at what they've reported, uh, as far as we know, there were three deaths nationwide today, 5,200 or so uh, infections. I mean, that's much lower than France, for example. And obviously, France is a much smaller country. Um, therefore, if China isn't being transparent and three deaths doesn't tally with crematoriums being overwhelmed with uh, demand. Uh, should we be uh, having this conversation with China or, or should we wait until such time as they give us numbers we can actually believe? Well, what is happening in, in China? Of course, we don't have reliable statistics on what is going on there. And I think that even the Chinese authority cannot have a proper vision of what is going on in their own country right now due to the structure of that country that makes it difficult to have reliable uh, information because uh, of the the nature of that of the of the structure of the country and administration of the, of the country. Uh, what is quite sure is that they have at the most uh, 8 million hospital beds on the whole country as an estimation, a proper estimation. And even if their own vaccines is supposed to protect up to 80% of the population, believing that more than 80%, 90% of the population has been properly vaccinated, which is DAP4, then that means they are facing 300 million potential um, uh, ill citizens. And therefore, I don't see any health system uh, able to sustain such a number of, of ill people. So um, they are going to face uh, most likely a huge uh, social pressure regarding their own um, health issue. I think it's more important to focus on the potential threats on the Chinese um, uh, ability, stability, uh, regarding the, the, the outbreak in China rather than being concerned about our own health. I think it's going to be more a political, economic and social threat rather than purely uh, health which is the case of most of the disasters. The, 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 the generator of the disaster is less important than the consequences of the um, F, uh, original fact that generates the disaster. And just lastly, we've heard uh, just in the last hour or so that Italy is the latest country uh, to put Chinese passengers on a special list. They'll have to be, uh, they'll have to prove their COVID status before coming into the country. Same for India, same for Japan, the United States, considering such measures. Is that a useful measure, do you think? Well, a virus is a cloud of viral particles that are, which is, sorry, generated by the people by humans and spread by humans. So if you decrease the number of people that are coming to you, which you believe they may spread the virus uh, and viral particles, then you will decrease the risk, but you can never control purely the, the, the risk of having new 
um, new people with, with the disease. So you cannot stop a cloud. A, a virus is like a cloud. You can't stop a cloud. You may restrain the dispersion of the cloud, but you cannot stop it. So it may help if you want to prepare to be more um, resilient towards the next wave, but you cannot expect to be um, um, to, to, to protect yourself from the next wave. That's exactly what happened in China. They, they expected to have zero COVID, and, and it's a failure, obviously. Okay, Dr. Jan Cedric Hansen, thank you very much indeed for speaking to us here on France 24.